Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn how you can attach the domain with your AWS website. So first of all, what we have to do is we have to go to AWS console and then search for route 53 and then click on it. And in the route 53, we have to add the domain that we need to attach with our website. So in our case, our website is hosted on S3 bucket then we have attached cloudfront with it so now we will attach the domain with cloudfront so basically i go to the domain provider so this is the domain state.no so basically what i will do is i will basically copy the domain name then head back to the route 53 and then i need to basically create a new hosted zone so i click on hosted zone and i will click on create a new hosted zone i will paste the domain name public hosted zone because i need this website to be publicly available and then i will click on create hosted zone so now it is created so then i get these uh basically four name servers so i need to add these name servers to the domain so i copy them and then go back to the domain provider and click on edit name server so this works the same like whether you have bought the domain from anywhere it can be namecheap godaddy it is the same like the interface is different but the working is same so i will copy paste all the four name servers and i will paste them in here and then click on save so it is giving me some sort of error okay maybe like i don't need to add the dots here so yeah it is it has worked so the name servers has been updated but basically it takes some time to be updated so that's the message that it is telling me that it might take 24 hours but it is quicker than that so what's the next step the next step is because i on also need to add the ssl certificate and uh, so for that what i will do is i will search for the certificate manager i will go to certificate manager and then create a certificate for that uh, particular domain name i will click on request certificate request a public certificate and then click on next and it is asking me about the domain name so i will go there basically copy the domain name yeah and I pasted that that this is the domain name. So yeah. So DNS validation. Yeah, I will choose that. That means like how I will validate that this is the domain that I own. So I will keep it as DNS validation. The uh, and then the encryption algorithm 2048 RSA. It is also good. So I will keep it as it is and will click on request so now this certificate is issued by aws but it is pending validation so that means is that i need to tell them that i own this domain by adding a c name record in my domain so you can see like this uh domain for that uh, story.no the certificate is issued but it is pending validation if I click on it, you can see like it is telling me that add this record of C name. So what I will do is I will open another tab and in this tab, I will open route 53 because my route 53 will be connected to the domain provider using name servers. So now in route 53, I can handle all the records. I can handle C name. I can handle A type A records and all that so i will now go to route 53 and add the c name 
so then i will go to stete.no and in here i will click on create a new record and then uh, i will come back here so this is the record value i will copy that and come here paste that and yeah and then this is the name and this is the value i will paste the value down so yeah i will basically this is record type it is basically a c name record okay so i will select c name and i will select that as one minute so that time to live is one minute so that the record gets populated very quickly and then i will click on create record so now hopefully like in few time like it will be connected and you can see in the certificate manager that it is issued so now as you can see like the certificate is issued previously it is showing as pending validation then i uh, then i added the c name record and then it is issued so now what i have to do is i have to head over to the cloud front and select the distribution that i need to connect the domain uh, with so i will select this uh, stote org front end and then click on edit either you are creating a new distribution then it also works the same then i will select the certificates this is the certificate and all the uh, certificate that are in us east north virginia region will appear in the drop down in case you have created a certificate in some other region then it won't appear in this drop down but you don't have to worry about that i have also done that multiple times so what you can do is you can just click on request certificate and request another certificate in the us east north virginia region and for that certificate you no, do not have to do any dns validation because the c name and c name key and value is exactly the same as the other uh, certificate in some other region so it will be automatically linked so in case you have like created the certificate in some other region then just like simply request another certificate in north virginia region so i already have that so i won't create it and then the next important thing is you have to add the c name the alternate name for this cloud front distribution so in my case it will be started.no and save changes yeah so now i have added that now what i have to do is i have to copy this url and go to route 53 and click on create record and then in here I have to basically add an alias that will redirect the traffic to my distribution so i have selected uh, basically this is my distribution i need to route the traffic to this one so then i will click on create record so now all the traffic is routed from cloudfront distribution to this route 53 hosted zone record so now when i open this it will uh, start working so now you can see like all the traffic is routed to stote.no so i can check like if the ssl is working or not yeah the ssl is also working so the connection is secure as you can see verified by amazon so this is basically how you do it so initially what you have to do is you have to first create a website i have another video for that like how you can host your files on s3 bucket and then attach the cloud front with it so there will be a link to that video as well in the description and on top of that video and then once that uh, website is up and running then you need to attach your domain with a cloud front distribution using route 53 and uh, if you want an ssl then you can also request an ssl using certificate manager service and then you need to do the dns validation uh, when you create a dns hosted record you will get the name servers and you need to add those name servers into the domain account so this is the whole process so thank you so much for watching the video